Hi, this is example number six of section 16.3. So we are talking about here of finding um, velocity and acceleration using relative uh, motion. So this problem, uh, we have a bar here fixed to ground by a pin uh, in A. So the pin allows the bar to rotate about that point, and then we have another bar that is fixed to bar A in point B and fixed to a block that is only permitted to slide over this guide right here, which we are given the direction. So what do we know? We know the angular velocity and the angular acceleration of bar AB, and we know the trajectory of the motion of point C. And we are asked to find velocity and acceleration of point C. As you see, we know the direction of those two parameters, velocity and acceleration, but we don't know the magnitude. So how we will approach this? Since we want to find the velocity of C, we will use point B, but we don't have the velocity and acceleration from point B. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the velocity and acceleration of point B using point A, and that's kind of easy because point A is a fixed point. So the first thing I'm going to do is velocity and acceleration of point B using coordinate system link to AB. So I'm going to use a coordinate system. So my inertia coordinate system is x and y, and I will put one parallel to the inertia but fix to my bar x and y, but as you see, I fix it to bar A. So I'm going to use then a coordinate system A, y, fix or link it to bar A, B. And I'm going to find velocity of B. Since this is a fix, the velocity of B, as you know, will be only the angular velocity, a b, which is in k, cross that distance, which is 2 in j, so that, and this velocity is known, which is 4, 4 times 2, k times j, we know, as you recall, i, j, k in this direction is positive, so I'm multiplying k times j, so I give it negative i, so I'm going to put my negative right here, negative i. So finally, velocity of b is equals to negative 8 i meters per second. This is my third result that I will be using shortly. I do exactly the same for the acceleration. And as you know, point B has a curved path. We, on, we will have tangential acceleration and radial acceleration, and those are angular acceleration times j, negative angular velocity times 2j. So from here we get angular acceleration we know is given, and in this case is negative 5k times 2j, negative, that's also given, and it's 4 square 2j. So that gives me then, I multiply that, and that gives me the acceleration of b in two components. We get this is 10i minus 32j, and the, again, the, the units at meters over second square. So we have velocity and acceleration of this point B. We will find now velocity and acceleration of point C. And now, instead of using a coordinate system linked to AB, we will use using system link 
to B C. So I have to put a parallel system to the one I just used, but link to the other bar. I'm going to use X and Y the same because it's parallel. We, instead of using this system, we will use a system with origin in B, X, Y, linked to bar B, C. So we use exactly the same equations. The difference is that the velocity of B is not zero because here the velocity of A was zero, but here it's not zero. So this equation got, becomes a little bit longer, but it's the same equation. So it's velocity of C is equals to velocity of B. Now, I will use the angular velocity of this bar BC, angular velocity of BC. I will put that in K cross. Now the direction from B, I'm going to write it here so that we get clear what we are talking about. And then the complete equation will be with the relative velocity from C to B, but we don't have that term. So finally, we can substitute that. We don't know the magnitude of the velocity of C, but not the direction. As you see, the direction of BC, so if this moves in this direction, so the velocity of C has to move in this direction. What is this direction? Will be, this angle will be 4 fifth in negative i and 3 fifth in negative j. We said 4 fifth in i, negative and negative 3 fifth in j. Velocity of b, we already calculated, which is 8 negative i plus velocity of b c in k cross the distance between b and c. And as you see, we go negative 2 in j, negative 0 0.5 in x. So it will be negative 2 in j, negative 0 0.5 in a. So we have to multiply this, and we get a, a system of equation. I'm going to write the system of equation right here for i and from j. So for i, we get negative 0 0.8 v velocity of c equals negative 8, right there, plus 2 angular velocity of bc. Where does that come from? k times j is negative i, with the negative become positive. And in j, we have this term right here, right? which is negative 0 0.6 velocity of c equals to, and in j we have only one term in j in this, in, in this side of the equation, which is 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 angular velocity of bc. So we have a system of equations, so solving system of equations, We got that the velocity of C is equals to 2.5 meters over second, and angular velocity of B C is equals to negative 3 radians over second. So what does it mean that is a negative value? It means that we assume that the bar was rotating in this direction and then it's actually rotating in the other direction, so it kind of goes up. So it will be, this will be the velocity of C and the angular velocity of C. To get the acceleration is a little bit longer, but exactly the same process. So we will apply the expression for acceleration using relative motion. So, so the acceleration So it will be acceleration of C, will be acceleration of B, plus angular acceleration in the K direction, cross R, C, B, negative angular velocity, V, C, square, R, C, B. 
So let me substitute that. And as you see, the same way that we knew the direction of velocity of c, we know the direction. This is the velocity of c, and this is the acceleration of c. So we know the direction. The direction will be very similar to the velocity, and then will be acceleration of c will be negative 4 fifths in i, negative 3 fifths in j will be equals to that term right here, which will be 10 i negative 32 j plus angular acceleration of bc in k cross the same vector, right, which is negative 2j, 0.5ai, and then we have the last term, angular velocity of bc squared. Uh, actually, we can also already substitute that term because we already found it. It's right here, negative 3 squared. So it will be negative 2j, 05 When we do all these multiplications, we get a system of equations. I'm going to write it right here. And the system of equation will be, so in I, is negative 0 0.8 acceleration of C equals to 10 minus 2 angular acceleration C plus 4.5. And then in J, we have 0 0.6 and acceleration of C, negative 32, 0 0.5, angular acceleration of BC, plus 18. So I'm solving system of equation we get the values, and the values are AC, acceleration of C is 13.0 meters over second, and angular acceleration of BC is equal to negative 12.4 radians per second square. Okay, so those are the values we're looking for. So we were able to find the velocity and acceleration of point C. For that, we had to find also the uh, angular velocity of the bar BC and the angular acceleration of the bar BC. But the values that we were asked to find is the velocity of C and the angular velocity. Of course, these are the magnitudes only, and the direction is known, and the direction is right here. So if you want to get the vector, uh, vector component, you will have to multiply the magnitude times the direction, which is this one right here.